It's about passion. It's about emotion. It's an opportunity for a 14 seed to go after a number three. No doubt about that. And of course, this is going to be very difficult for Bucknell. Keep in mind, Bucknell beat Pittsburgh this year at Pittsburgh when Pittsburgh was ranked 10th in the country. Kansas, obviously, a very, very stiff opponent. People look at us like we were going to be a pushover. They thought that this was going to be Kansas' year to win a national championship. And this was just a uh, a warm-up game for him to say. So I think a lot of us went out there with the mindset, uh, we're really going to show everybody. And the flush goes down by Brown. Back-to-back -back buckets by Donald Brown and Buck Bell with some momentum. And I tell you, I'm seeing some Wisconsin fans on their feet. It was an unexpected uh, appearance by us in the NCAA tournament. We weren't the favorites to win the league that year. We didn't win the regular season league. We went up and had to play at Holy Cross to, to win the tournament. And we were underdogs going into that game. We're tied at 50. You've got to maintain your intensity for long periods of time. Oh, the three falls down. Charles Lee. The confidence of Bucknell continues to swell. And I think as the game started to go on, we got, a, we got more comfortable and gained more confidence. Earlier in the year, they beat Pittsburgh, and that was called the greatest win in the history of Bucknell. If this were to happen, this would surpass that win. The, the amount of energy and excitement, it, I don't think I could do it justice trying to express it. 362 Kansas. Can Bucknell pull the upset? 15 seconds left in Oklahoma City. Down low, jump shot, got it! McNaughton! The inbound, the long pass, the turnaround, Simeon, no! And Bucknell has pulled the upset. We had a bunch of guys dancing. We had some guys hugging at half court. And I remember one guy just running in circles with his towel and just kind of doing all types of crazy stuff. So I think just joy overwhelmed us all. Our guys were absolutely euphoric, and so was the entire Bucknell community. I heard from dozens, if not hundreds, of proud alums for the next months, years, about what that win did to put Bucknell on the chart nationally. The NCAA tournament. This is what dreams are made of for basketball players. Bucknell Bob, the first Patriot League team to win an NCAA tournament game. I think it just confirmed our expectations and it really showed what was possible with Bucknell and what was possible in the Bison basketball program. And I think in many respects that's, that win set the standard that we maintain to this day and our expectations to have a successful program. And by that I don't just mean regionally, we want to compete on the national stage and we do. Good job! Good! Stunt! Make it make a tough play! Can't be a short closeout! When I first got the call from Bucknell, would I be interested in Bucknell? I said absolutely because I knew what Bucknell had done in 2005 and 2006 and really got on the map. Looks inside, makes the extra pass, the tough, tough shot! Bucknell. Men's basketball team at Bucknell. Uh, for well more than a decade now has been recognized as one of great excellence. It brings the campus together uh, in a unique way. The energy, the enthusiasm around the success of our team is just something that's really special. Drops it off, under five to shoot. Frazier trying to force it off the glass, does on the drive. And then nearly comes up with the steal and indeed produces the pick. It's a three on one, Johnson to Ayers. Let the celebration begin here in Lewisburg. The Bison are going back to the NCAA tournament as Patriot League champions. Looking to set up Muscali's roaming baseline. It's Wilman inside the arc. Got it! Joe Wilman! First one game. Catch and shoot airs. Pick it. A three. Muscala wide open for the dunk, and that was very pretty. 
Willman to throw the baseball pass. It's up in the air. Mescala catches it. He takes the shot and he makes it. Seven to shoot for the Bison. Airs off the dribble. Bryson Johnson. The Bison have showed time and time again now they're an excellent basketball team, excellent basketball program.